Welcome back. It's time for coins. Jamie, I got some coins in the mail. I ordered these back in uh, March, the beginning of March, and they finally came today. This is like the end of July. So I just wanted to go ahead and open these things up and show them off to you. Okay, so the first coin we have is the uh, Flying Scotsman, and this is the Bunk Pack. It's a two pound coin. And I really uh, liked the design and being able to have a, a train on the uh, coin. Uh, it looked really cool. And I didn't really know much about the Flying Dutchman before I uh, saw this. And so I watched a lot of different documentaries and it's interesting how the, the train actually, they brought it over to America and they drove it around on the American rails and it accidentally uh, got stuck in San Francisco for uh, a couple of years and deteriorating and they were able to finally finance it to get it back uh, to England. So yeah, so it's a really nice little looking coin. This one doesn't have any of the uh, any color to it, so it's just a regular coin. So I also got the uh, silver proof version. Right there, Flying Scotsman 100 Years 2023. Very nice, very nice. And we here we have the coin. Here we have the coin. That is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. And I have not obtained a silver two pound coin like this before. So the Flying Scotsman was built in 1923. This is 2023, so 100 years celebrating the Flying Scotsman. And on the back you have uh, King Charles III. This is the uh, first year with King Charles on the coins, on the British coins. It's a pretty nice looking design. I still kind of think he looks kind of like Rose, the Roosevelt diamond away on there. Very, very pretty. I'm pretty excited about this thing. This is an awesome looking coin. My hands are a little, little dirty. Uh, did some yard work yesterday and also did some fishing, so uh, that just uh, won't won't come off. So and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and see what number I got on here. I forgot it's been a while. I forgot how many were actually minted on this. So it looks like I have uh, number three thousand nine hundred and forty-two, and it is. Two pound coin, United Kingdom, alloy is 925 uh, AG, This is, I believe, 92% silver. Uh, the weight is 12 grams, diameter is 28 millimeters. Edge description live for the journey. And it looks like the maximum. Uh, Coinage is 5,782, and in this uh, presentation, there's only 4,472. Very nice. And let's go ahead and get into the little cart here. Flying Scotsman, the journey begins. Designed by Nigel Nigel Grizzly. The Flying Scotsman was built in Duncaster 
1923, he had a cost of $7,944, which to today that would have been probably a lot more. Oh, sorry, that's pounds, but yeah, a lot more money. Weighing 97 tons and measuring 70 feet in length, it was the first locomotive of the newly formed London Northeastern Railway. Part of the A1 class, the most powerful locomotive used by the liner at the time. Flying Scotsman was named in 1924 after the daily 10 a.m. London to Edinburgh rail service that started in 1862, selected to appear at the British Empire's Exposition in London in 1924. The locomotive went on to appear in, at numerous LNER publicity events, which marked the beginning of its enduring worldwide fame. <laughs> the most famous locomotive in the world, being named after a well-known railway service that carried esteemed passengers, including the novelist Charles Dickens, certainly did no harm for the Flying Scotsman's popularity. The crossover led to Flying Scotsman becoming one of the most famous locomotives in the world, which was a sentiment echoed in 1966 by John Noakes to the audience of 7 million viewers on the BBC Blue Peter. This came at the, a time when the British public were deeply nostalgic about stream train, steam trains as they were being replaced by diesel and electric locomotives after over a century of service. Even now, the locomotive is revered by the British public and people happily drive for hours just to catch a fleeting glimpse of Flying Scotsman and its steam by in all its glory. Breaking railway records in 1928, the locomotive hauled the first regular non-stop London to Edinburgh service achieving a journey time of just over eight hours. Six years later, it broke another record as it officially became the first locomotive in the United Kingdom to reach 100 miles per hour and an achievement that showed steam provided ample power to fuel the LNER's high-speed services. In 1989, more than 50 years later, the Flying Scotsman became the first locomotive to circumnavigate the globe following a return trip to Australia. While touring the country, it claimed yet another impressive record for the longest non-stop run from a steam locomotive, 422 miles. right there. It's an awesome picture. Changing tracks. Between 1923 and 1963, the Flying Scotsman worked on the main line between London and Edinburgh, as well as on the main line to London Mary Merrill Bond passing through moors, farmland, rolling hills, country towns, and villages. After its retirement from service in 1963, Alan Pegler bought Flying Scotsman 
and under his ownership, the locomotive traveled to the United States. However, Pegler was declared bankrupt and the locomotive subsequently became stranded in 1973. William Mac McAlpine rescued the Flying Scotsman, brought it back from the to the UK and had the engine restored at Derby Works, taking it to Australia in 1988. In February of 1996, the, the businessman Tony Merchington bought the locomotive, but an ownership crisis occurred eight years later. Thankfully, the funds raised by the campaign spearheaded by the National Railway Museum saved and restored this national treasure. Transporting the past to the present. Following the Herculean efforts of the National Railway Museum, the National Heritage Memorial Fund, and the British public to save the world's famous locomotive, the Flying Scotsman underwent an extensive re restoration in 2006 at the workshop of Riley and Sons taking 10 years and 4.2 million to complete. The project was a phenomenal success. Now working museum exhibit, the locomotive offered the public a romantic glimpse into the bygone era and the great age of steam, as well as representing true British engineering, in invention and artistship. It continues to break out railway records too, as it is the oldest working locomotive on the UK's mainline tracks. And a little bit about the designer of the coin. So the UK two pound coin commemorates the Flying Scotsman features a thoughtfully crafted reverse design by the experienced coinage artist John Bergdahl, who has previously designed coins for the Royal Mint, military com commemora commemoration, and important anniversaries, featuring the inscription LNER followed by 4472, the Flying Scotsman's second service number as well as the date of the locomotive's special anniversary, this design captures a side-on view of the famous locomotive as steam ahead on one of its many rail journeys. The Edge description reads, Live for the journey, in a fitting tribute to an engine that continues to be admired and romanticized oh, 100 years since its journey begins. Colorful artwork has been completed by the designer Ephion Gwilliam, featuring the iconic apple green paint from the Flying Scotchman at the height of its fame. So yeah, this is a very cool coin to have, very awesome coin to have. And I'm glad to have this in my collection. Uh, and just abs absolutely beautiful. And just look at that. It's like with the steam going across there. It looks like the, the sun or the moon. And uh, just very, very beautiful design. I like, I love the color. This is the first uh, two pound coin to actually feature color on, on it. So that is uh, pretty, you know, pretty amazing yeah, it's fully silver and then you have like the, this kind of gold rim around it uh to kind of like because the regular coins are bimetallic they have gold and then silver in the middle so it's just beautiful beautiful design yeah uh the, the next coin i have i'll probably do a its own video 
but I will go ahead and show it to you guys right here. So this next coin is the, the third release coin of the Hogwarts, um, Hogwarts, uh, or sorry, Harry Potter coins. And this is going to be Dumbledore. This is... And look at that. Wow, that actually looks even better. I, I kind of was didn't really care for the design too much when I was looking at it, but I wanted to have it for the collection um, to be able to have it all. But actually, just having it here, it looks really, really, really nice. A lot better than it, than, uh, it did in, in pictures. And then, of course, you have the back side. So the other two that I have have the queen on them because they're done in... 2022 this one's 2023 with the king charles it's another good reason to pick up these coins because they have both monarchs on them so yeah just look at that right, they got your 25 years right there on there so it would be really cool to see if they if they decide to uh um make more Harry Potter coins kind of maybe celebrating each book as they come out it'd be kind of cool to have like Ron and maybe her Hermione on these coins maybe have one with the Wampink Willow or something it'd be kind of cool yeah it's a very nice nice coin we have Professor Dumbledore right there Welcome to a new year at Hogwarts. Before we begin our banquet, I would like to say a few words. And here they are. Nitwit, Blubber, Ottomant, Tweak, Professor Dumbledore. It's kind of a cool look. Kind of like it looks like someone's on fire. Uh, kind of a cool picture. I'll go ahead and let you guys pause this and you can go ahead and read that if you want. beautiful artwork I mean, now these are the artworks from the illustrated books that were with I think sometime within the last 10 years were done up so these aren't the original got a goal being a cat and here's the designer Professor Dumbledore, I got 8,656, so definitely not a low number, and that is out of uh, 15,000, so this is definitely a higher mintage than the, than the train coin, and it has 50, it's a 50p, and the alloy is 92% silver, and it's a proof quality. So yeah. Very nice looking looking coin. Well, with that, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, please like, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.